Hey guys, it's me, Tolu. Okay, so before we go into today's video, I just want to say thank you to everybody for always, you know, sticking around to watch this. 18 minutes, 10 minutes is a, of talking is a very, very long and can be boring, you know, video, can be a boring video, but you guys are still here. I'm so grateful. And I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm sorry for not replying the comments. Like I was going through the comments this past um, week and thank you so much for the encouragement towards the prayers i really really appreciate it thank you thank you so much okay so let's go into today's video um the topic we'll be treating today is greed for like you know since we started i've been bringing topics and topics and the reason why i bring topics is because of what i've been what i see during the week i'm like okay i need to share it with you guys and Greed is actually what is going on in the world today when it comes to our uh, age. A lot of news that I've been hearing for like two weeks now. Okay, this a very young boy uh, killed somebody for ritual. This person wants this. This person tried to trick this person to get something and all of that. So I'm like, okay, let's treat this here today. And that is why I brought that topic. Greed. Now, what is greed? Because I actually want us to know the difference between self-interest and greed. Now, greed means an intense and selfish desire for something, especially wealth, power, or food. When they say something is intense, it means an uncontrolled longing for something. When you cannot control yourself, you want something, you can't control yourself, you must have it. That's what greed is. But when, when we say self-interest, self-interest is, oh, I want something, it's something that I've always, you know, desired, but like, you take it one step at a time. This is how I'm going to get it. Let me get it this way. Not that it should be something that, oh, I must have. If I don't have this, life is finished. If I don't have, and from all these things that we're saying, greed actually has to do with, I think, money. Because if money is not attached, I don't think anybody would be greedy. So I just want us to know like the thin line between self-interest and greed is a very, very tiny line. It is tiny. We can think it, we are doing okay, it's a self-interest. I, I, I love this thing, I want to have it. So I'm going to do anything to have it. But then you might not know that you're already crossing to greed. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there is this um, scholar, William Barclay. Okay, so he described greed as pursuing one's own interest with complete disregard for the rights of others and even for the consideration of common humanity that is what greed is at the expense of other people you don't care i must have what i i want to have i must get what i what i need to get so if you want something so bad if you love it so much be careful Okay, everybody, we all have self-interest, a desire, something we love, something we want to have, everybody wants to have money, everybody wants to buy a car, want to live good, but then be careful in pursuing those things. That's why that news I was hearing some three boys, very young boys, 17, I, I think they were 17 or 16 years old, killing because they want to make money. Then I was like, what exactly do you people want to use money for at the age of 17? Because I don't even understand. Is it that the money your parents are giving you, even, even if the money you were able to save in a month is 1,000 Naira as 18, I think that is enough. Because as at that age, maybe you're just coming out from secondary school or you are still even in secondary school. Then when we talk about you know the older ones which are the okay the youths those ones that are from okay 18 and them above like that we need money yes to sustain our lives to sustain us to do whatever we want to do but we must know that there is a very thin line between self-interest and greed with this turning to greed that's when you see that you do things that you're not supposed to do or for an example you join bad gangs just because you are looking for money to buy what you want to buy or because you want to live life you want to be a big boy and big girl so you do what you're not supposed to do that is greed now what does the bible say about greed in first timothy chapter 6 verse 9 the bible says but those who desire to be rich fall into temptation 
into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. Simple. The desire to be rich by force. You know, everybody wants to be rich. I want to be rich. I want to live a good life. Yes, that is why we are all working as we are going to school, you know, to come out, have a job, start living a good life. Yes, we all want to be rich. But that desire to be, I must be rich. You know when it gets to that point that, ah, oh, no. Huh. This money, we must, we, we must have it. We must, that was how I ran away from one friend like that in school. Every time, in every discussion, she must say, you see that money, I must have it. Hey, I must have the money. Ah, and what did I do? I had to run away because one day, one day, she will use me as money ritual because I don't know why I must have it. I'm, yes, you are on the path to making the money. You are in school. In school, when you come out, you get a good job. Even if they say, okay, Nigeria, eh, you don't, they don't used to give people a job. See, one way or the other, you will get a job. That's the truth. It might take a while, okay, because life is not a bed of roses. Let me just put it like that. It's not easy for anybody. But with God, one day, one day you get a job and then you have the money that you want to have. So that was how I ran away from that friend. And I just want to say, if you have that kind of experience or you have that person in your life right now, it is not too late to run away. And whoever that loves money too much, even if it's not about money ritual, if a person should love money too much, the person can do a lot of things. That's when we see, okay, illegal way of getting money, you see robbery, you see fraud, you see all those kind of things. It's because of greed. It's because they want it so bad that they cannot wait. They don't even care. Some people, honestly, some people will tell you they don't care about the consequences. Let me just have it and have it. I think there was a story that was told one time from mom, mommy. And she was telling me about those people like they went like to, to the um Avalis to tell the Avalis that we want to make money and then the Avalis was even saying ah this is what we are poor after two years i think it was two or one year one of you will die one person will die and like see we don't care ha ah, when i heard the, the woman said she does not care that one of them dies after how many how many days is two years let me even say five years how many days is five years that you get to die and then you've spent all the money you want to spend for five years and then everything gone so please be careful have self-interest but don't be greedy don't be now another bible verse proverb 28 verse 25 says a greedy man stirs up strife but the one who trusts in the lord will be enriched everything that we're saying the bottom line is God will enrich you if you're patient. If you don't allow greed to control you, if you don't allow your self-interest to turn to an uncontrolled longing, it's going to enrich you. What you just have to do is calm down. Like I was saying, the 17-year-old the boys, like, truth be told, what do you think they need money for? That's the truth. They don't need money for anything because they are they are young, they are still babies in the hands of their parents. They are still living under their parents and I think they can feed because their parents will feed them, they will clothe them, they pay their school fees. So tell me, what do you want to Is it? I don't understand. Is it that you want to buy big phone, you want to do big boy? No. So let's be very, very careful. Now, why is greed a sin? It's a sin if you don't know. Apart from human to human relationship, human to God, if God sees that oh, this person is a greedy person, that's a sin. It's part of sin. Now, why is greed a sin? Now, greed is rightly called a deadly sin because it kills the possibility of a proper human relation to the Creator. Imagine human to human relationship. When people know you as a greedy person oh you can't deal we can't do business with this person you can't do any deal with this person this person is so greedy that he's going to betray you and uh, even blackmail you will people want to work with you no 
But imagine now if people don't want to work with you. How do you want God to work with you? It's a sin because you have killed the possibility of that relationship you, you were supposed to have with God. And if you've killed that relationship, you're on your own. Like, basically, you're on your own. And if you're on your own, a lot of things will happen. So that is why it is a sin. So, and what does the Bible say about sin? Abstain from every sin. Every sin there is. Even to the barest lying. You know, lying is something that everybody in the old world have done, or is doing, or will still do. Have lied. You have lied. But then it is a sin. So to the barest sin that we think is the smallest thing, the Bible says that we should what? Abstain from it. Now, Luke 12 verse 15 says, keep your eyes open and guard against every sort of confessiousness. Because even when a person has an abundance and his life does not result from the things he possesses, that is, we should guard against longing for things we do not have or developing an insatiable desire for more. You know when they say you desire for more, you, you want it. There are some things, yes, we must have felt like that in, I don't know, in a particular stage in our lives. That I really want this job, I really want this um, uh, material, I really want this, I want that. Yes. But then, were you able to control it? Or you just allow that thing to make you, you know what, do what you're not supposed to do? He said, keep your eyes open. Let it be wide open for you to understand self-interest and greed. Like I said, a very thin line. You love it, but were you able to control yourself to like, no, okay? Calm down, you will get this thing, or you allow it to work to push you to push you till you get that, that thing. Now, having a proper desire for the things we need in life is normal and it motivates us to work to provide for ourselves. That is what self interest is. That desire that, oh, I want this thing, but then I keep working. Okay, when I work for one month, I collect, okay. For those of us that are working, I mean, and then I collect my salary, okay, 10,000 naira. If I have 10,000 naira, I will wait again for that month, make it to it, I'll not buy it. That is self interest. Or, oh, I'm going to school. If my mommy give me, if they give me 100, if they're giving me 100 naira per day, if I'm saving 10, 10, 10, 10 naira, then I'll be able to buy this thing. That is what self interest is. You are looking forward to getting that thing that you desire most. But the difference between normal desire and greed is like the difference between a campfire and a blazing forest fire. Do you know the difference? You know campfire. You know how they used to burn um, um, wood and everything and everybody sits around it. That is what we call self-interest. But then we now go to a blazing forest fire where everything is burning. Burning miraculously. Burning abundantly. <laughs> That's what we call greed. So. For you to understand the difference between self-interest and greed. Self-interest bonds also. It bonds. Yes, you want it. But you're working towards getting that thing. And then greed will consume that person. That is just what today's lesson is all about. Do not allow things you desire most to control you. Keep it. Keep your, you know what? Fold, fold it inside. Don't let it come out. And then you see that, okay. Like the Bible says in that proverb that if you're patient, God is going to enrich you. So guys, I hope you guys have learned something. I hope you're able to pick out something again from today's topic. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Even if it is not as consistent as you want, sorry. But like, you guys are still there. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.